This is part two of my Apophis 99942 video, the asteroid on 13th of April 2029. Now I finished off by saying in the last video that on the 7th of January 2007, which was the day Joe Biden announced that he was going to run for the presidency of America for the 2008 election on November 4th, which Obama won. Now, January 7, 2007 is 666 days out from Election Day, 4th of November 2008. It is also two days and 106 weeks out, 216, out from inauguration. So there's a double whammy there, double connection to both the Election Day of 2008 and the inauguration Day of 2009. Both of which are in the 216th year of the White House since the cornerstone was laid. Now, I should have a two there. 1792, the White House Quarterstone was laid by Freemasons. Jump to 2008-2009, it's the 216th year of the White House when Obama moved in, in his 48th year, the man born on the 216th day of the year. Absolutely amazing, huh? Truly. Now, Children of Men. We're talking about the movie The Children of Men. Come the release of the film, 2006-2007, Children of Men, the code was put forward, which is the numbers of the beast from Revelation chapter 13, more specifically than the, what Revelation talks about, calls it the number of his name, Revelation 13, 17, chapter 13, verse 17, and Revelation chapter 15, verse 2, the number of his name. That is what that is, Barack Obama's birth numbers. The 666 man born on the 4th of the year, 216th day of the year, 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. But born in 61, 1961. The year and the century is so important. You can't take, out, take that out. It's the 1961 that counts. So when they released this knowledge, this bit of information in the trailer, you don't even have to watch the movie, you can see this, and I've shown this on Rumble and YouTube. I just applied, well, I've known about the number of his name for a long time, long before I saw any of this. And this just came along and, conf well, when I saw this, what it was, it just confirmed what I already knew. So when they announced this in 2007, they'd already shown the, ti the timeline counting the number of his name in the rollout of the timeline of Apophis. Let's announce an asteroid which we know is Wormwood, assigned to it the numbers of the beast because Barack Obama is bringing the biblical end of day just like he said at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. You know, Michelle Bachman said, I'm going to be responsible for bringing the biblical end of days. What a legacy. Jefferson, Washington, they didn't do that. Everybody laughed. Quote, Obama joked and told everybody that he's going to be responsible, him alone, for bringing in the biblical end of days, the book of Daniel and book of Revelation. So do you see how that was, is mirrored by that? But that came first. 18, 666, 48, 61. The only thing that's not represented in here is 61, obviously, but it is here. That time frame out from Apophis, which they know is Wormwood. So I've covered that. 1792. Yeah, I've written it there. Just needed to write it there. I scrubbed it out for some reason. And on the 20th of January 2009, which just happened to be 216 from the release date of the movie, as it says in the trailer on YouTube, was the first ever Masonic Ball held in Washington, D.C. at another venue, not at the White House, they say, but in Washington, D.C., in commemoration of Barack Obama's inauguration. There had never been a known, publicly known Masonic Ball in Washington DC on Inauguration Day 
till 2009, till the 216th year of the White House. Wow. 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 Are you understanding? You're paying attention. Do you do you get what I'm trying to say? What what, what? have you just you've just witnessed something? Do you understand what you're just what you've just seen? That is the question. Now we jump to 2009. What happens when the numbers run out? Another tagline is the numbers are a warning. Now, the solar flare that comes and consumes the world. Interestingly, the movie's filmed in Victoria, Australia, where I live. Melbourne, specifically. The last scene in the movie is the, the, uh, st the steps of Parliament in Victoria. October 19, 2009 is when the solar flare comes in, hits the Earth, and it's the end of the film, the end of the world in this movie. Counting from the solar flare in the movie to Apothis is 18 years, 480 days, 61 days, and bam, you've got 999, 666, happens in the last 42 months, Great Tribulation, 2029, 13th of April. President Obama... From 2008, his first, the year he was elected, made president on November 4th, to 2017, January 20th is his last day. Trump moved into the White House on January 20th, 2017. The movie Split released in the US, which is all about the beast man, released on Trump's inauguration day, January 20th, 2017. Obama was in power for eight years. He never... He went to Hawaii every year from 2009 to 2016. Why did I write 2015? That should be a 2016. Gosh. Six. Period of seven years. Now, it wasn't until 2015, 22nd of December 2015, that he, he went and climbed Coco Crater in Hawaii, which is, has these wooden steps up to the rim of the crater, and it's a big tourist attraction. People walk up the 2,000 plus steps to sit on the edge of the crater, an extinct crater, and view the island from above. 4,861 days. Is Apophis. Are you kidding me? No. Seriously. He could have gone and climbed this well-known walking tourist destination any time between 2009 and 2015. All right, I know I put 2015 because that's when he went, right? He went to Hawaii in 2016 or so in the last year of his presidency, but he didn't visit the crater until 2015. Why didn't he go 2009, 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14? It wasn't until the seventh year. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, it wasn't until the seventh year of his presidency that he actually climbed the crater because it's 4,861 days out from. This is just how they do things, right? It's another little warning. You know, when Apophis hits, it's going to form a. Well, they say it's going to land off the coast of Baja, California. It's going to land in the ocean, but it's going to leave a crater. It's going to hit the bottom of the seafloor for sure. And when it lands on the Earth, a crater uh, is formed by a meteor or asteroid. So that's that part of the uh, whiteboard. This obviously happened before that. That confirmed counting and timelines work. They do it. The elite do it. Hollywood knows about it. Obviously, Hollywood knows about it. Or people in are told to make these movies with this with these plot lines because that's a movie that's obviously a movie knowing and that's reality now I got a whole folder this is such a huge subject I mean gee on Apophis and everything related and connected to it now I just would like to bring up 
this bit of information here. This is going to the COVID vaccine in Australia, just to show this two days and 106 weeks. Right now, if you've watched Christine Lagarde's Magic Number no. 7 speech, she's the former International Monetary Fund. She spoke on the 15th of January 2014 at the, at the uh, press club in Washington, D.C. She spoke about the Magic Number no. 7. That video is still available to watch. And he goes for a few minutes on YouTube, and she explains that in the case of a number like this, 106, 0 has no value. All you're left with is the numerals 1 and 6, 2, 1, 6, because 0 has no value. She's talking about this in the context of the number 7, but you get the drift. Now, just to prove that I can count 2 days and 106 weeks, and it's not pulling that out of making that up, or that's not credible... AstraZeneca in Australia, 18th of April 2020, 216 new cases of COVID in Victoria, they say, on that day. That's the day that Scott Morrison announced AstraZeneca as the vaccine for all Australians, all 25 million of us. 216 days later was the general rollout of AstraZeneca, March 22nd, 2021, for 1,000 GPs, general practices, and the general population to receive the AstraZeneca vaccine, which they were touting at the time as the vaccine for, for all Australians to safe, safeguard us from COVID. Now, from the 22nd of March, 2021, two days and 160 weeks. See, there's a, there's a, there's a similar 216. Two days and 106 weeks, two days and 160 weeks. See the difference? Equals April 17, 2024, Australia's COVID-19 vaccine claim scheme scheduled to be to end officially. Hmm. Really? So there's the timeline begins there for AstraZeneca. It goes to that. Then we have that span of time. It jumps to that announcement next year, April 17th. No more compensation. Not that much compensation was given out anyway. It's... It's such a scam for what makes you eligible. Most people are just made by design ineligible for any compensation for death or serious bodily harm due to the COVID shot. And we have the TGA provisional approval of AstraZeneca on that date, February 15, 2021. Two years, one month, six days later, 216, is the day that AstraZeneca actually pulled the product from use in Australia, and the TGA also announced it on the 20th of March, 2023. The discontinuation of AstraZeneca in Australia. So the drug that was going to vaccinate, safeguard all Australians from COVID, the dreaded COVID flu, only lasted for 216. All right, I'm going to start again on part three. Thanks for listening.